Okay, so we're gonna do another Chrome Music Lab tutorial on the one called Rhythm. So this one, there's a few different types to choose from, but you get to create your own, your own rhythm and it is on a loop and it's all about percussion, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna share my screen here. All right, it is. So when you come to it, this is the first one that's on there. And you already see that it's got two that are preset. So you see here, this monkey has two different timpanies. You see them in band and orchestra and they're large drums. Some people call them kettle drums because they look like kettle, like what you would find at like a festival, someone making kettle corn. <laughs> so timpani. And then this monkey has a little triangle. Now what's neat about this app is that the colors and the shapes match the instruments. Okay, so this drum, this timpani is orange, and that's that one. So all you do is click on it to make it go away or put it there, and you'll see it tests out the sound for you. So you can play this one when it's already done. Okay, so what's neat is the lines here, those are the beats. So this loop has three beats, one, two, three. But you also have some dots in between. And that's the up beat. So we've got down, up, down, up. So if you were to count quarter notes, it would be ta, ta, ta. Or adding in those eighth notes, t, 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 t. Okay, so, oh, the yellow one matches the timpani. And then at the top, you see the shape of a triangle. So, now what's kind of cool is you can also have all of them go or just some of them. And you can see the monkeys move to match the rhythm that they're playing. Now, if you click this arrow button, it takes you to two, I don't know what those creatures are called, uh, <laughs> but you see that. This orange one matches this tom drum. A tom drum is a little bigger than this blue snare drum that you see. And then here is what we call a hi-hat. It's a kind of symbol. And you see there's a top symbol and a bottom symbol. So they are kind of like sandwiched together. So, okay, you get a little groove going. Now in this one, you have one, two, three, four beats, okay? Our first one was three, now we have four. So, let's do, and here, you see a diamond that looks like the two symbols put together. Uh, let's do, there we go. Okay, we need to match orange, the blue one, and that. Okay. Now this next one, again, I don't know what these creatures are. They look like the other ones, but in space suits. So we're just gonna call them space cows because I don't know what they are. Now we have two wood blocks and these wooden sticks are called claves. You hear them a lot of Latin music, it's really fun. And the X's are the claves because when you play them together, they actually make a cross, okay? Or in that X, okay? That's how you play them. Uh, the wood blocks, Ah, uh, the big one is the low one, and the yellow is smaller, so it's a little higher. And so here's what this sounds like already. You see we have one, two, three, four, five beats in this group. So we did have three, and then four, and now five. And you notice that this one goes a little faster than some of the other ones. Let's just kind of mix these together. Now you notice I left a couple of these blank. Those are rests, they're silent. So it kind of adds a little like pause to the beat. So you do however you want when you get to this one. Okay, and now we get to these other little creatures. Um, and you'll notice we've got two conga drums. Conga drums are the really tall ones that stand. Bongos are the small ones that can fit in your lap. So we've got two congas, and then this one is a cowbell. So you'll see this shape matches that cowbell. <laughs> and in this group, we've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six beats. So we went from three beats to four to five to six in a group. So, ah, so this is the low one, that dark brown color. And then we've got yellow. Let's mm. just see what that sounds like. And that one also has a pretty fast tempo. So what you can do is you can start from the beginning and kind of switch around while it's all playing. And it slow it down right here. And it just loops. So while it's playing, you can change it still, which is kind of neat. It's a little faster. <laughs> so that is the rhythm one. So for this, I want you to do all four of them. And which one do you like the best? And then screenshot that and send me a picture of the rhythm loop that you've created. So share. So have fun with this one. This one is actually a really fun one. I kind of do this one every day just to kind of like take a little brain break and create something. So enjoy rhythm.